Okay, so we have you have pulled or we pulled together the three of cups. Okay, so this right here with the three of cups is telling me that there's going to be a lot of communication for sure in this month of May for you, but it could be that people are talking about you for sure. They're like uh, kind of gossiping and they are interested in your business right now. So that's something that you might want to try and maybe guard against a little. So because uh, there's also maybe a lot of partying going on for you this month. Uh, that could be it as well. And you could be burning the candle at both ends because I was that's definitely kind of along the lines that I was feeling like like it's going to it might be fun, but it's going to be like a whirlwind of everything like people uh, talking, people wanting to contact you, wanting to have fun with you, wanting to party with you. And I know some of that may seem a little out of the realm of possibility for you this month, especially if you're still, you know, in quarantine or whatever. But this could also come from. Just people surrounding you about your birthday. Uh, I feel like a lot of the gossip, so to speak, is not going to be negative. I mean, it could be, but you know, sometimes it's like uh, good. All press is good press, kind of thing. That's what I'm feeling from this. So there's going to be a lot of people, so you know, coming around you. You're going to have this whirlwind of energy. I feel like there might be something around your birthday. So, yeah, this kind of makes sense, like what we were already talking about. And let's see also, I feel like this is going to happen more about when the sun comes in to your uh, sign on May 20th, because that's when the things are illuminating uh, onto you. All right. So let's see. Also, this next card is going to be uh, on this sort of whirlwind journey that you're going on, you're going to cross a bridge. And what is that bridge? And what is it going to hold for you? Is it going to be a shaky bridge? Is it going to be a strong bridge? Is it going to be something you enjoy? Like, let's see what's across your path. So we're going to turn this over and it's the Queen of Cups. All right. So this is telling me that you're going to have some sort of figure in your life who's going to help you um, in the month of uh, May. It could be that you feel like you need to confide in someone. I feel like it could be your mom. I feel like it also could have something to do with your mom around your birthday, something uh, interesting about that. Like uh, you're going to talk to her a lot or whoever is this person in your life who you feel this connection to, this person who has your, who listens well, who uh, has sympathy for your situation, who likes to take your side. So it's going to be that person who you're confiding in. And it might be around some of the uh, things you're hearing from other people. So that's that's what's out there for you, though, is this person who's going to uh, basically listen to everything and, and walk you through the month of May, okay? All right, so now this next card that we're looking at is going to be like the root of the question or something that's rooted in your mind sub, uh, subconsciously that kind of is your driving force. It's like what's pushing you forward and, and how is that going to affect you in the uh, month of May? So let's check it out and see. Okay, so I've seen this card before on one of the last readings and we have this this card, but it's good that um, in my mind that it's upside down because this card is like missed opportunities. And it's kind of like uh, when it's in this particular uh, upright position, we're talking about maybe disappointments of not seeing your own value, uh, not thinking that what you have done so thus far uh, is really that important or your accomplishments. It's sort of like you're not... Uh, you're not giving yourself enough credit for sure. But in this particular situation, this month, you will be giving yourself more credit for the things that you've gotten done. You're going to be able to recognize your strengths and your hard work, and you're going to uh, really look back at what you've created and say, you know what, I'm doing pretty good. 
and I really feel like I can move forward and I'm looking at my opportunities and they're not going to pass me by. So that that is another thing I was feeling is these pass me by opportunities. You're going to seize them. OK, you're definitely going to do that. That's I think that's what this reading is about. That's what I was channeling earlier. So it's definitely a coming to uh, fruition in the cards, kind of like I would have it, expected it to come. And that's what always makes me feel good about doing these videos when I, when, when what I'm feeling is coming out in the cards. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so next, the card that is here is going to be uh, the recent past. Like, what kind of things have happened in your recent past that might be uh, stuck in your mind or hindering you from moving forward or it could be things in the past that are actually helpful to you things that you've been through okay so let's just check it out and see all right so we have the upside down we have the two of wands okay the two of wands so let's see what that means in the reverse position he looks like he has the earth in his hands so that's pretty good and let's see in the reverse position in the two of wands, uh, your plans are falling apart and you're thinking small and you have travel problems. <laughs> okay, well, that also makes sense to me right now because um, if your birthday's coming up, you may think that what you had expected to happen for you um, is not the plan that you originally wanted for your birthday, like your plans are just falling apart. And what else did it say that uh, you're thinking small? So in this situation, what I want you to do is really focus on what's going to ha make you happy this month and, and try to formulate a plan. And I think it has also something to do with this queen here. I want you to reach out to the person who uh, gives you strength and gives you motivation and helps you sort out your plans. Because, you know, as a Gemini, sometimes... Um, you have so many thoughts at once and a lot of them are small and they you don't really you sometimes you don't think big picture but reach out to the person who you trust to, to give you the big picture and say this is you know what i had expected to happen for me um this month of this month of may even going into june is not going to happen so is there any other way i can possibly have uh reach the goal that I wanted to, whether it's coming together with my friends or whether it is having a party, there's some, there's got to be some way that you can make this happen. And it's just going to take a little bit of foresight and a little bit of planning, I think. Okay. So this has happened in the recent past where you felt like your plans have falling up, fall, you know, fallen apart. And I mean, if we wanted to go deeper psychologically with that, which, you know, if you want to do that, we can, you know, I could do a private reading. But it also could go f even further back where you just feel like there's there's not enough successes in your life. But this card tells me that you're going to really recognize your successes no matter what. So, But if you do feel like there's something holding you back, please don't hesitate to reach out to me at AskJenniferWinters.com and we'll talk about it. And we'll get another clarification reading, okay? All right, so this next card is like the outcome of what has happened uh, in the month of May. Like, what is this leading to? Where is this journey going? Um, how is it going to play out for, our, for you in the month of May? So let's take a look. Okay, you got the judgment card, all right? And the judgment card is upright, so I just wanna make sure. Uh, it's a wake-up call, it says, to your life's purpose. So that makes sense. Um, I'm following along this and it is looking like opportunities you're trying to grasp at. And like I said, you are in a whirlwind and you really want to um, just basically cash in on this ball of energy that you have. And this card right here is saying that you will. It's definitely saying that you know, the <laughs> things are going to happen for you. It's It's going to be this a uh, wake up call to your life's purpose and that is going to present itself as you know basically a uh, a challenge uh, but also a transformation also a new opportunity so you uh, I think if you just you know I'm I'm feeling like this carp dm energy like seize the day like that's what this is feeling and it's it's like 
all the card is also telling me use your best judgment to move forward as well. So that makes sense. Um, it's time to really trust yourself. All right, so let's move on. And we are going to move to the future influences, like what lies ahead that could unfold, and as well as the ability to take action. So what is going on in the future for you? What's going to unfold? What kind of actions can you take? So let's take a look. All right, so let's see. We have the Five of Pentacles, and it's upside down. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles in this particular deck upside down is, uh, let's see, a new job or home or hope returns and recovery. So again, I'm feeling like with this particular card, we're still t going along with the same story, like this new opportunity, like a new job and like recovery from a situation that you've been in. So like, say, for instance, if you're on uh, quarantine, there's going to be this recovery from it. Things are going to feel better for you, no matter whether it works out exactly like you thought it was. There's something that's going to appear, something that's going to be a uh, new hope for you. So that's good that that one was, you know, in reverse in that particular situation. Uh, definitely. And I'm just thinking if there's anything else. Uh, I mean, this can sometimes mean that you might move as well. So that could be the opportunity to, to make a change. So maybe you, that could also be something that's in the cards for you, <laughs> like literally. Okay, so the next um, card that we're going to do in the Celtic Cross is going to be yourself. Like what are your strengths and your weaknesses and how is that going to affect you or how can you turn your weaknesses into strengths? Okay, so let's just check it out and see. Okay, so you got the tower, okay? All right, so in this particular reading, I feel like what this means is that your weakness in the situation is that you always feel like your plans are fall apart. And that's also what was here, like your plans fell apart. Uh, but also your strength is being able to make plans. So you have to put that plan into action. Like, I'm really serious. You need to call this person <laughs> and you need to voice um, what it is your goals are. And that way you can be victorious and, you know, you can have this wake up call that you need to move forward is going to present itself. OK, um, and then this new opportunity here and the opportunities that you refuse to miss is going to be here. So whatever you feel like is falling apart, you can you have the ability and the capability to use your all of this energy that's coming your way. This, uh, you know, the sun energy, the new moon in Gemini, the Mercury energy, you're going to be able to basically put your plans back together. OK, so that's. That's your strength this month is to put these plans back together for yourself. Okay, so don't be disappointed. Whatever it is that you wanted to do, you'll figure it out because you always do, Gemini. All right, so this next card is the environment. How are your friends going to help you? How, are, uh, how do you perceive your environment? How do you feel people perceive you? And that is going to help you along in the month of May to figure this out. So let's just dissect this card, shall we? Okay. So this card is upside down for you. It's the Four of Wands. So let's see what the Four of Wands wants to say to us is leaving home and moving out in arguments. Ooh, okay. So this is telling me that you feel like there's maybe too much stress at home. You feel like there's too much arguing at home. Maybe you want to move away, maybe that you feel like getting away somehow is going to uh, improve your situation or it's going to help you with your goals or your plans. And uh, I don't really know if I can advise you on that because I think that, you know, that's something you have to kind of push through yourself. And this is your environment. Like, I feel like uh, it doesn't sound too good right now, but Maybe if you can't, if there is an environment that you feel 
that's not really conducive to your happiness right now, uh, search within yourself. See if there's any way that your reactions to whatever is going on in your environment could create a better space uh, for yourself uh, mentally and also maybe bringing love to the situation like something that I would try to do. Uh, bringing that love in, into the household can uh, change uh, everyone's uh, reaction because, you know, it's it's a psychological thing that's uh, cat like catchy like if you ha if you smile at someone or you hug someone then the other person feels better and then that disarms uh, the situation and the arguments and all of that stuff so if your environment feels like this I will first start with yourself see how much you can change your environment around you and then if it gets to the point where you feel like um, you know, nothing you're doing is helping make sure you do try though and you know if you put yourself out there first and then if the other people aren't um, trying to uh, help you help you feel better too then maybe there is some sort of situation that you need to remove yourself from but I really don't like giving advice in those uh, kind of situations but it is does seem like that's on your mind okay about your environment Okay, so next we're going to do your hopes and fears. We're going to find out what those are, what you're hoping for and what you're feel fearful that you might not ever have. So let's check it out. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune, and that is also in reverse. So I'm thinking maybe you think your luck is never going to change uh, and you're fearful of that. Maybe you felt kind of like, your plans are not are not working out like you wanted and your life is not progressing in the way and that you want to, you know, overturn things. You want to turn that wheel and you want to find uh, a better outcome for yourself, but you're fearful that that's never going to happen. Well, that is, you know, the, the beauty of the Wheel of Fortune is to remind us that things always change. Even on a daily basis, you can be happy, you can be sad, you can be happy, you can be sad. I mean, there's ups and downs. Like we spin the wheel every day. So just remember that you're never going to be stuck in one particular situation forever. Like you're going to have highs and lows. And so don't fear the lows. Just think about what you're going to do, you know, to make that situation better. And I think that it's going to, a lot of it needs to radiate from within outwardly so that other people you know so that you can change your environment as soon as possible or as quickly as possible okay so I would start by just anytime you feel like your plans are falling apart reach out talk to people and give them a hug first thing you know so that makes yourself feel better makes the other person feel better and it immediately changes um, your situation and, and, and your thought process Okay, so now this last card is going to be like a summary of the whole Celtic cross that we just did, and it's going to like sum up sort of the outcome of the month of May, and we're going to see what that looks like, okay? All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So it's upside down, so the, this particular card means, um, uh, where is it? <laughs> Uh, family conflicts and loneliness. Okay, so now um, I'm also starting to feel like uh, you have it in your mind that there's just a lot going on at home. Maybe it's because you're at home and you feel isolated. You really feel like your opportunities are, are being missed and there's like everyone's kind of going a little bit haywire. And I mean, it could be that you're in you know, on lockdown or quarantine. I mean, I try not to relate everything back to that, but um, it is what a lot of people are going through in every country right now. So um, if you're going through that, just make sure you take time out for yourself. Make sure that you reach out to people who care about you and make sure that you find something to occupy your time and that you use that beautiful energy that you're going to be having this month to, I mean, you're going to be popular this month for sure. And even going into June, you're going to have a lot of people thinking about you, reaching out to you. So just, you know, use that energy in a positive way. Make sure you're returning phone calls. Make sure you're returning um, messages where people are trying to, um, 
get in contact with you because I feel like that's going to happen. And that's going to prevent a lot of this loneliness and make that plan to to make sure that the goal that you are after, the thing that you feel like uh, isn't going to happen, that it happens in some sort of form. Uh, it, it, it just really needs to because I think that um, that might be causing a lot of tension and conflict in your mind right now, thinking that, oh, no, like everything is spoiled now. And But if you just put a little bit of thought into it and you reach out to people, I definitely think you can turn this month around and get rid of that loneliness, get rid of the conflict, just bring love to your situation, and you will definitely uh, be able to you know, <laughs> roll the wheel to a more lucky position for yourself.